Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use Adobe Premiere Pro's new graphics layers and graphics panel. This is a really important update for Adobe Premiere Pro because it sort of removes that old clunky title system and allows you to add in text like a lot of their other programs, animate the text, and create really neat motion graphics all within Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Now, we're gonna navigate over to the graphics panel right here. I know some of you might not have this graphics panel, even though that you updated to 11.0, which is what you need to update to to get this graphics panel. But let's say you've updated and you still don't have this graphics panel. There's a little bit of a glitch going on right now. Um, to fix that, all you gotta do is go to the documents right here in your Windows machine, go over to Adobe, then we go to Premiere Pro, 11.0, profile production, um, profile is what it's going to be. This is my username production. Click on it, and then in here we have a layouts tab. Now, what's important about the layouts tab is that maybe it didn't actually update like it should have. So the reason, the way we fix this is we just right click and we rename it to literally anything that is not layouts. The reason this works is because when Adobe Premiere Pro starts up, it does a file scan, and once it realizes layouts is not in here, it'll go ahead, go to the server, download the new layouts, and then it'll work. If you've created custom workspaces up here, you can go into whatever you rename this. Let's say you renamed it cat. You go into your cat folder and you go and find um, the ones that match to these, drag it up, and it should work out fine. So now that we've got that fixed, restart Premiere Pro, and this one should come up with the graphics panel. Click on that graphics panel, and let's get started in here. So on the right here, we have this new panel called Essential Graphics, and this is really the the kind of the new part of this, um, as well as the graphics up here in the top, but we'll discuss that in a little while. So what we have here is we have a bunch of different stuff that Adobe Premiere Pro added. So just some stuff to get started to show how the tool kind of works, um, which is really neat because that means that there is going to be, you know, you can download these online. I'm sure there's going to be an entire market set up. You can buy these, you can sell these, stuff like that because you can actually go to graphics and hit export as motion graphics once you create one of your own of these. So what exactly are these graphics in? Let's go into the lower thirds. Let's click on this classic lower third one, and we're going to click on that. We're just gonna drag it on over here. We're gonna drop it on V2. It takes a second to load here. And then now we have it on V2. And just with a quick drag and drop, we now have this lower third animation. We can go over, we can click on it. We can go into the text, click on the text right here, or we can even use the text tool right here, the type tool actually. You'll see that it highlights here. We can rename it to something like, I don't know, something creative, uh, Adobe Masters, like so. And then suddenly we have a lower thirds animation that shows Adobe Masters. And if you click on this, let's kind of break down how this works. So on the left here, we have the graphics. This is a graphics layer. This is a new layer. It is just basically sort of like a transparent layer, but I, it has special, I guess, properties to it, I think. Um, you can throw in a bunch of different effects to this and it kind of saves as a graphics layer itself. Um, so if we click on the graphics layer, it actually opens up in two different places. We can go into the effects controls right here, and then we can go over here into the essential graphics. And you'll see that they are all kind of layered right here. Um, what's neat is you can kind of turn these off and kind of see what this is, is it's just a bunch of these shapes, all with different opacities, and they all open up in a, you know, a cool manner. And that's what makes this actually sort of like a sellable effect like so, um, because they're all just sort of working together in unison. And that's kind of the stuff you're gonna be able to do in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you wanna you know, get more advanced, you're gonna to have to go to After Effects, but this really allows you to do a lot of stuff within Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if we click on one of these on the right here, so let's click on our text, you'll see that it selects the text over here and then it selects the text over here. So if we wanna adjust things just off the fly, design stuff, we can click and move stuff around here. But this is only going to work for stuff that's like you know, sitting still. What I'm what I'm talking about is you can't animate over here. There's no stopwatches. So you're just kind of designing the asset over here. And then now if we want to actually animate that asset, we move over into the effect controls. And you'll see right here, let's drop down this text. Let's actually add a little effect here. So um, in the, t uh, so you can do the 
stopwatch right here in the source text and you can actually change it over time so you can you know make it look like it's typing or change the color stuff like that but what I'm gonna do is right here just something really simple we're gonna use a keyframe you can see that there's already keyframes and stuff active because this is a template so what happens with a template is it just has a bunch of this stuff already pre-programmed in then it's saved so that all we have to do is drag and drop it and it loads that stuff every time but let's add to the template let's go into position and then you'll see that it actually creates a little bit uh a keyframe right here and then if we move to that keyframe then we move over to let's go right here and we just drag this position this is the x over to the right and now you'll see that with just those couple clicks i now have one that starts and then it starts scrolling over now then, uh, if you've worked with After Effects, you know what keyframes are, but if you haven't, keyframes are basically a way to move in between states of motion. So what we have here is we have 200 by 934, and then on the right side, I said move that to 938 by 934. So but it, what it does is you create these two, and then it just kind of cuts it in whatever, maybe there's like 100 frames here, so it cuts it in every frame, it adds that into it. So you can see that every frame, if I move over here, watch this number right here, every time I move a frame, it's just moving that perfectly math oriented. So it's doing all the calculations for you and it makes a beautiful transition. If you try to do it every frame by yourself, it would go a little faster, a little bit slower, a little faster, just because we're not, you know, calculators in our heads. Uh, Adobe Premiere does all that for you. So you can do that with any of the effects in here. You could change, you know, all this stuff around and then you make your own graphics. This is really important because like I said, you can just drag and drop this stuff in and it really improves your workflow. It doesn't make you have to go to After Effects and it keeps sort of the, um, the lower end stuff in Premiere Pro where it should be. Another thing that I kind of wanted to point out is that in the essential graphics over here, if we go, there's actually After Effects sort of packages here. So there's like a news package where you can like put this stuff on and it spins stuff in and they're really, I think it's After Effects by the way, I don't know, it just says AE, so I'm thinking that's After Effects. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, if you drag this stuff in, it, they look really neat, but the problem is, is that I was trying the video gaming one, I was trying this one, and it crashed my program twice where it took like a command prompt, like I, this is why I have the task manager up, um, to destroy the program so I could actually get it started again. So I don't know what's going on there. Maybe Adobe will fix it pretty soon. I think they're just sort of sort of ironing some things out. But I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, kind of be aware of that. Anyway, that is the graphics panel in uh, sort of a nutshell. Um, later tutorials, I'm going to go over how to actually export as a motion graphics. It's actually really simple. If you click on it and you kind of have it selected, all you have to do is click export. It analyzes it. You throw it into essential graphics, click OK, and we go into essential graphics um, slash, and we have our new graphics layer right here. It's really like that, but I kind of want to go a little bit more in depth about how you might actually create something like this. So yeah, if you want to export your own, if you like made a modification and you want to keep using it, go ahead and click that export button and you can, you know, keep using it. But that is really it for the tutorial. I hope this helped you kind of understand Adobe's new update and why it's so important. Um, it really just replaces that title, uh, that old legacy title sort of stuff. And it brings it into a new age where you can do a lot of neat motion graphics within Premiere Pro itself. Thanks for joining me, everyone. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, you know, sort of Adobe related production videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to, you know, if you got any comments, you got any questions, you want to suggest a future tutorial, throw those in the comments below and I'll respond to them. I love to respond to you guys. And yeah, until next time, guys, see ya.